Airports are unique places with layouts that may not be obvious at first, but as a pilot, you'll quickly become familiar with their unique composition of buildings, taxiways, and runways. Now, to help you get started, let's take a quick look at the Gold Seal Virtual Airport. Your airplane is parked on the ramp in front of some hangars. The building on the right is the FBO. This stands for Fixed Base Operator. This is the outfit that oversees the ramp operations and sells fuel. The airport manager's office might also be located here. You're already in the airplane with your instructor and you've just followed a checklist to crank the engine. Since this is a towered airport, before you taxi out to the runway, you must talk to the ground controller located in the tower. He gives you taxi instructions before you roll on out. Skyhawk 427 Golf Sierra, taxi to runway 9 via Alpha. Taxiways are strips of pavement identified by letter that give you access to the runways. You are told by the ground controller to taxi to taxiway Alpha. Taxiways are marked with solid yellow center lines. Your goal is to stay on that center line as you steer out toward the runway. Now check out the windsock. This is a cloth tube that shows you what direction the wind is coming from and gives you a rough estimate of its speed. You will typically take off into the wind. You arrive at the runway, stopping at the yellow marking called the hold short line. After doing your pre-takeoff checklist, the tower controller clears you for takeoff. Skyhawk 427 Golf Sierra, clear for takeoff runway 9, make left traffic. This allows you to taxi out to the center of the runway and start your takeoff roll. Note the big number 9 painted on the runway. This confirms that you are on runway 9 and will be departing to the east on an approximate heading of 90 degrees. Now do your best to stay on the dashed white center line markings. When you accelerate to takeoff speed, a slight pull on the yoker stick will cause you to rotate into flight. Since the controller said make left traffic, you'll make all your turns to the left in the rectangular traffic pattern. Aircraft operate in the airspace above an airport. To keep surprises at a minimum, pilots use a rectangular shaped route called the traffic pattern. This is similar to an invisible roundabout, albeit one that's squared off. Airplanes enter the traffic pattern to land at the airport, and airplanes exit the airport area via the traffic pattern. Student pilots frequently remain in the traffic pattern practicing takeoffs and landings. The traffic pattern has four sides and is broken down into five segments called legs. An airplane taking off on the runway is on the departure leg. It accelerates and rotates into a shallow climb. The airplane continues to climb straight ahead until it reaches a sufficient altitude, usually 700 to 1,000 feet. The airplane then makes a 90 degree turn, usually to the left, onto the crosswind leg. The airplane continues to climb on the crosswind until it reaches what's called the TPA or traffic pattern altitude, normally 1,000 feet above the ground. The next turn is onto the downwind leg. On this leg, the airplane is flying parallel to the runway in the opposite direction. During this portion of the traffic pattern, the pilot is keeping a relatively slow airspeed and is preparing to configure the airplane for landing. The airplane remains at traffic pattern altitude until it reaches the point on the downwind that's perpendicular to the runway numbers painted on the pavement. The airplane is said to be a beam the numbers. At this point, pilots will generally begin their descent getting ready to land. The next turn places the airplane on the base leg. The airplane is still in a shallow descent as it moves toward the final straight-in approach course. Think of this as an extended runway center line, and this leg, not surprisingly, is called final. When the airplane is lined up with a runway descending to the runway surface, it's on final. From there, the airplane slows and continues descending until it lands on the runway surface. So, as a pilot, you must understand both the airport layout on the ground and the 3D layout of the traffic pattern in the air. Remember there are five legs in the traffic pattern called departure, crosswind, downwind, base, and final. There are plenty of exceptions, but unless otherwise stated, turns in the traffic pattern are to the left. As a student pilot, you'll need to know the shape of the traffic pattern in 3D and be able to instantly identify each of the legs by name. And here's your chance to do just that. Thank you.